Welcome to The Harbor. I'm Reverend Montana Hamby, and I'm excited to join you today as we continue moving through the season of Lent together. We are so glad that you have found this online community of faith to be a part of. I've spent a great deal of time with teenagers over the course of my ministry, and in my experience, the hardest conversations always happen at night. It's late in the evening on the last night of a retreat. It's the moments after everyone else has left the Bible study for the day. The deepest theological discussions that I have ever been engaged with occurred when half of the camp was asleep. And I'm blessed that in those moments we had created a space where the students felt safe enough to pour out their hearts and souls to share their doubts, struggles, temptations, and fears that they have about their faith. And it reminds me of this scene in the Gospel of John where one of the religious leaders who had been speaking out against the ministry of Jesus came to Jesus in the night to ask some burning questions that he had. His name was Nicodemus. And he said to Jesus, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do apart from the presence of God. And Nicodemus knew deep down in his heart that there must have been something different about Jesus, but his fear for how the other Pharisees would react to him forced him to secretly meet with Jesus when everyone else would have been asleep. I think that in some way, we can all relate to Nicodemus because most of us had had moments where we have hidden some of our deep theological questions about who Jesus is and what God's intentions for us are. Have you ever had those questions and felt like you were in a setting where you had to hold back? Have you felt like you couldn't fully open up about the doubts and challenges that you have? I know I have, just like you. Nicodemus set an example for all of us showing that even if we feel like we have pieces of ourselves we should hide from others, we can always be our authentic selves with God. Jesus didn't turn Nicodemus away and withhold any truth about salvation and the new birth from him. No, instead, Jesus shared grace with Nicodemus. And Jesus will share that same grace with you. No matter how long it's been since you felt safe enough to talk with Christ, no matter how heavy you feel like your questions and burdens might be, Regardless of whether you've been for or against Jesus all along, there is space for you to lay all those things down. And it's my hope that the harbor can be one of those safe spaces for you, a place to connect and begin asking those questions that you may have been afraid to ask out loud, a place to bring your challenges, bring your doubts, bring your questions. And when you do bring those things to the conversation, Christ will bring you grace. Amen.